Hi everyone. So today's moneymaker is actually something that I didn't actually expect to make, but after doing some testing on my stream, it ended up being that this strategy is so incredibly insane that it's very much worthy of a video. And it's very much worthy of like telling other people about to abuse while the markets are still good for it, which I don't think the markets will ever not be good for this, making this very consistent. So what are we talking about today? Well, this is a strategy that was pretty popular last season that has been talked about people before and frankly, is nothing really new. The TLDR is we are abusing the elevated scarab sextants, which makes tormented spirits always drop a winged scarab, at least the first three. And we are adding onto this the boss always drops a conqueror map sextant and then we are using the hoarder crafting station to craft map does not consume sextant charges on every single map we're running to effectively have an infinite use of these sextants we're then also adding harvest with yellow essence guaranteed in every single harvest on top of it which allows us to completely sustain any yellow essence we need making this strategy effectively free once you invest into it this strategy very much reminds me of nemesis 3 harbinger farming back in valdo's rest where you would have a very high upfront cost of paying for the watchstones and then once you had the watchstones you basically unlock the strategy assuming you had a build that's good enough for it and what i like about this is it's the, effectively the same thing except it's even easier these maps are just out can go pretty much every single build in the game can do these maps and you can make a stupid amount of money assuming you can buy the sextants and pay the upfront cost of starting the strategy why don't we get into it and talk about it really quickly the first thing to mention is the atlas tree for this the most important thing here is we want to use the sextant that gives us guaranteed winged scarabs on the first spirit that we kill but because of that we need to path over here to get seance which makes it so rare monsters already have tormented spirits applied onto them that means that we don't have to wait around and like kite tormented spirits to try and get them onto rare monsters we just simply need to run through the map and just kill them and that's it on top of that we also have unrelenting torment which just makes the tormented spirits have increased quant this is really nice since because of the arch nemesis changes with all the conversion we can actually have some of the loot goblins pop up and it's nice to give them 30 percent more quantity on top of it to make the glue goblins even better to support all this we're picking up all the maps to scene if we have all four shaping and we have mausoleum favorite in every single map slot that means we can sustain our own mausoleums which makes it so we never have to buy absolutely anything from people other than chisels and alks and such on top of that i'm just blocking a bunch of things this is basically where i'm dumping the extra points that i have for this build this is simply to give us more harbingers which we're going to be running on top of this just for a little bit of extra juice and then the last thing which i would say is the most important thing of all this we are running harvest and we are running blue altars so we need to pay two and a half thousand yellow essence for every single map we're doing and with the strategy if we have all the harvest nodes picked and then if we also have the guaranteed sacred grove and duplicated with growing hordes we can actually over sustain yellow essence to the point where you're getting a few thousand back for every set of 10 or 20 that you're doing so you can actually even sell some of it back to make even more profit the rest of the points are just simply spent on all the map modifier effects this just gives us more quant on our maps which allows us to sustain a little bit easier and then a little bit of quantity to again help with map sustain there will be a link in the description for the stream if you just want to look at it for yourself and don't have to sit here and try to look at the video and see how to path everything let's go over everything we need to actually run the map itself all of these maps are going to be run on mausoleum why mausoleum because the boss in mausoleum doesn't actually technically exist because of this all of the eater world's altars cannot give us any modifiers that relate to the boss this means we have a very high chance of getting increased quantity and increased pack size which is important to get the most out of our harvests all of these maps are chiseled alked and then rolled to at least 25 percent pack size the pack size is extremely important and i would not run these maps if they are not at least 25 percent pack size on top of that these maps are then volved you want to vol absolutely every single map to get even more quantity the quantity and pack size are extremely important and if you do not do this you are not going to get enough yellow essence on top of that we're running growing hordes so we're just running four polished scarabs and yes you can use the same polished scarab multiple times i didn't know about this myself but that is what i've been doing the whole time which makes running growing hordes even easier instead of having to buy four separate polished scarabs you just simply buy a few hundred of one polished scarab and that saves you on trades and time substantially more than going and getting four separate types the last part to this is the compasses now this is going to be the biggest barrier of entry for most people who want to do the strategy we need sacred grove and yellow is duplicated this is going to allow us to always get yellow essence which we need on top of the pack size and the increased quantity from both the altars and the 
growing hordes to get around 2.6 2.7k yellow essence per map on average and that means we over sustain all the yellow essence we need next up since we are going to be putting sextant use is not consumed on every single map we need to run good sextants to actually get value out of it as this simply just pays back for it because of that we're going to be running map boss drops a guaranteed conqueror map this is just a free 30 chaos per map no matter what you do and the bread and butter of all this the first three possessed monsters drop a winged scarab this is going to be the biggest problem for most people this is currently around 60 div and I expect after this video this is going to go up even more. The best way to think about this compass is like old NEM3 harbinger farming where you had to pay a lot of money for rolled watch zones but as soon as you have those watch zones you're ready to do the strategy and whenever you are done doing the strategy you can sell that back to get your money back. This works in the same exact fashion where you're spending about 60 div to be able to have access to this farming method but whenever you're done and whenever you don't want to do this anymore you can simply sell the compass back to someone else and get all of your initial investment back. On top of that, in the map device, we will be running Eater Worlds and we will be running Fortune Favors the Brave. This gives us more quantum pack size, which again is crucial to being able to have enough yellow S. Let's talk about how we're going to be running these maps. While you're inside the map, all you're going to be doing is clearing the whole map. You can go to the boss and kill it just so you don't have to backtrack to it. You can kill it as soon as you get there, just so you save yourself some time from backtracking as you won't spawn any Eater Worlds altars while fighting it, so you don't lose out on any potential pack size. You do not want to go inside your harvest until the full map is cleared. You want to kill all the Eldritch packs. You want to spawn all the altars that you can and you want to pick up as much quantum rarity as possible from the altars before going inside the harvest all of it will make you get more essence as quantity just straight up increases the amount of essence that is dropped well pack size gives you a chance to spawn multiple enemy if you for example had 100 percent pack size then a harvest plot that says it spawns one rare monster will actually spawn two rare monsters guaranteed. Once you've cleared your whole map and collected your winged scarabs off the ground and collected your conquer map, just go and do the harvest and then just simply leave. It's unbelievable to me how just simple the strategy is and how the only barrier to entry is the price of the winged compass. You're simply running through the map, killing everything, looting, and then just leaving and putting a new one in. I was averaging about five minutes per map, which means I could do about 12 of these maps per hour. With the guaranteed profit that you're making per map, it is absolutely insane just how much money these can make. Speaking of money, let's look at what the profits look like. So this is a quad tab after about three hours of doing this on my stream. I collected a little bit of extra life force. This 9,000 yellow essence in here represents all of the extra life force that I've collected on top of just the life force that I am using to sustain them. I did buy about four div worth of life force just so I can roll a bunch of maps at once. And then the rest of this is just simply extra, which either allows me to sell it to make more profit or keep it to roll even more maps at once to save myself time. The biggest things that you're getting here are going to be all the conquer maps. And then the other is going to be all of the winged scarabs. You are getting three of these per map and these sell in bulk at about 20 C each, no matter what. One thing that you could also do is you can take the winged scarabs that aren't very good, such as for example, expedition and bring them over to harvest and you can use your purple essence to re-roll them into potentially a scarab that is worth more money that way you can extract a little bit more money out of this for example div scarabs are 30 c each instead of 20 c each and they sell really fast in bulk what you can do is you can simply just put all of these scarabs up for sale on tft and they will sell in bulk very quickly and then the same goes for the conquer maps outside of that you simply just have a bunch of bubble currency you have a bunch of alks and chaos and divs and so on that you can either bulk sell or just keep for yourself it is completely up to you. If you want to look at excellence, there is a little bit of a problem with excellence as the prices here are not accurate. So it's very difficult to look at this 19 div and accept it as reality. Realistically, this is around 25 or so div simply because one, the winged prices are incorrect. All of these go for 20 C in bulk and you're going to only be selling them in bulk. And two, the conqueror maps aren't actually counted in here. If you see, it's saying that they're 4C each. People were a little bit skeptical about this when I was testing this on stream, but after looking at the prices of everything and looking through excellence, these prices are actually accurate for the things that matter in here. And because of that, we can safe and accurately say that the money per hour is exactly what it is. If you want to look at the prices of everything, we are paying 13 chaos per map per running, 2C about to re-roll with scarabs and alks, 8C for four polished scarabs, 3C for fortune favors the brave, totaling a total of 13C. Then you're getting 30 chaos back from a conquer map, you're getting 60C for winged scarabs when you're selling them in bulk. And then I am averaging around 74 chaos and other drops. These other drops can be anything between chromatics or shaper guardian maps or random divines or stack decks or just about 
every other random drop that happens in the map. And this has been consistent through over 60 maps so far. We have done the math every single hour we've done this. It consistently has come out to around 74, 73 chaos in just random currency every single map. This goes to 164C per map at 12 maps an hour, which is pretty conservative. We can get around eight div an hour, which is insane. It's just insane how much money you're making through all of this. And the nice thing is, is the things that you're farming are never going to lose value. Conqueror maps are just going to immediately sell at 30C. They're simply not going to go any cheaper. And the same goes for wing scarabs. If they even dare to slightly go down in price, people are going to buy them to reroll them into div ones. You simply can't flood the market with winged div scarabs. There is simply too much of a demand for them from both six man parties, two man parties, three man parties, and just solo players who are looking to juice for apothecaries or for doctors. Because of that, the prices of everything here are going to be completely consistent. And I doubt they're going to be moved by any sort of market volatility at all, which should basically make this a guaranteed eight div per hour, no matter what you're doing. If you have the money for or the sextants, I would recommend to immediately invest into this if this is something that looks interesting to you. I think just because this is pure alk and go after the investment makes this the best strategy in the game, considering it's also one of the highest div per hour strats, period. I've been having fun with this, and I'm going to personally keep farming this until I make a few mirrors. I have no problem sitting here and doing this as I'm having so much fun, especially since I can just sit here and talk with my chat the whole time and not really have to think much. This isn't some sort of strategy where I need to buy 30 scarabs and 20 sextants, and I need to roll my map and put deli orbs on it and do all these crazy things to make so much money. It's just Alk and Go, which makes it so, so comfy to do. That's about it for the strategy. If you try it out for yourself, I hope you have fun. I hope you enjoy your basically unlimited money printer. If you have any questions, feel free to come by my stream or ask here on YouTube. I will try to answer your questions as fast as possible. Or if you want to see the strategy for yourself before you want to take the plunge and invest, I'll be streaming this on Twitch over the next few days. So feel free to come by and see it for yourself. Other than that, I hope you have a wonderful rest of your day and I will see you in the next video.